Oh. Here we go. Good. It is Sunday um, morning. Just woken up. I saw in my weight, 231, which I think is like 104 something in uh, kilograms. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to go make oats. I could show up, but I'll have oats pre workout as well. Been having oats. Also, I've got a spot, hence why I've got toothpaste on my above my eyebrow. That's why that's there. Um, but I'm going to have breakfast and then shave, shower, shit, the three S's, you know. And then I'll go do steps before leg day later. Um, like an hour or two later. Hopefully, that wind isn't bad. Uh, we're currently in the forest. Based on obviously the trees, you probably put that together. Oh yeah, I shaved my beard doing that off, and I cut my own hair um, because it's easy enough to do. I'm just tidying up the sides in the back, um, and I just keep doing that whilst the rest of it grows. So it's quite easy to like do. Um, also, I've got a Costa large skinny cap. We'll keep that in. Um, it's 100 calories as long as like my appetite is where it's at, which is I'm not hungry at all really, and weight's dropping good so. The only time I'll take that out is if hunger starts to be an issue and like I shouldn't really be wasting 100 calories on a coffee but that today is not the day. 83, out, 83 days out as of today. Um, cal macros are 2 to 85 protein, 410 carb and 70 grams of fat. Uh, steps are 11 and a half. This walk's probably about 7 and a half K and then I'll kind of because it's a Sunday, I'll probably have to go like a little one later on, but usually that'd be enough and I would be able to uh, just get the rest of the set just going about my day-to-day -day business, but i um, got a podcast on, uh, the Chris Williams, Williamson and the Dr. Mike, fucking love Dr. Mike um, podcast, so I've got that on right now, and then just going to crack this out, it'll probably take me about an hour, an hour and five, we're about 20 minutes in right now, but yeah, that is the situation. Um, then I'll go home and make food, don't know what I'm going to make yet, but we'll see. I'm kind of doing, what I'm doing right now is um, a macro approach, but I'm kind of just eating the same foods. Just slightly different order, slightly variants and stuff. Probably because I need that for my own sanity, like eating the same thing every day. I just don't like it. And you don't necessarily need to do that. Obviously again, towards the end of the show, it's good just to kind of stick to the same foods just so you know how you digest it and how your body will react and how you look so you're not leaving anything to chance but right now I can get away with the flexibility so that is what we're I doing. I have been a failure so I have shown no meals when the whole purpose of this work, uh, today was to show meals so that is not a good start however um, I will film the leg day we are away to do it now it's like three hours later to be honest I left the camera in the car uh, wasn't intentional, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, leg do, 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 hamstring based, uh, don't well, ha hamstring bias leg day. Gonna go do that now, then go see Madam Webb. Uh, it's currently half past five. Gonna train at six, six to half seven. The film is at 20 to eight, uh, and the cinema is like five minutes from um, the the gym so that's ideal that is what we're doing so the next clip you'll see should be like what is good so i'm just going to do a voiceover we'll continue to do voiceovers uh, over the workout portions whilst we're on prep so we started this leg hamstring bias leg day with the seated leg curl bread and butter again you'll see i'm controlling the eccentric pausing at the top and then really exploding in the concentric um i've been training like this for a little while again Although I could probably lift heavier, just really slowing down that eccentric and getting more out of the exercise with less weight. Because obviously progressive overload, weight will come. So I would rather just execute it pristine in, in a way that I will break down as much muscle fibres as possible. And then in turn, hopefully build more muscle. Um, we've been running with, I don't, to be honest, I don't even know what you call this machine. Uh, but we've got 200 kilos on it, paused RDLs. Um, again, I've been using this machine opposed to dumbbells because the dumbbells aren't heavy enough. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of barbell RDLs anymore. Don't know why, but just can't, don't really necessarily agree with them. And as you know, there's no one way to skin a cat. So if you don't agree with an exercise or an exercise just doesn't feel right, there's always alternatives. 
Like there is no exercise that you need to necessarily do. Um, we followed that up, moving on to the quads. So right now the split is a push, well, chest, tries and side delts. Then it is back and biceps with rear delts. Then it's quad bias legs off, shoulders and arms and ham bias legs off. That's the split we've been running for a while. As you can see, class angles, Michael Bay type angles here, but I'm not going to get other people in the clip if I can avoid it because at the end of the day, they don't want to be in the clip. So it's selfish of me to include them when there is a way I can do it where they're not in it. Does that mean I won't always get the best, best angles? Yes, but like you can see what I'm doing. You know what I mean? If you care that much about my leg extensions, come watch me train in life. Do you know what I mean? Uh, watch <laughs> like an elegant swan get into this one here. Now, obviously, I've got it that low so I can get full ROM, but like it is the most awkward machine to get into. Obviously, being over six foot, um, just, but still over six foot. I'm not necessarily the smallest to get into this but as you can see any of the machines any higher then i'm not going to be able to get full rom ideally i could actually get a little bit more rom but i'm hitting the bottom of the machine however you rarely rarely see this machine but honestly love it for the quads again slow fighting the eccentric pause at the bottom and then coming out in the concentric uh, i've been doing my legs work at a pt at this gym block nine um in hamilton I've been PTing here and it's my favourite gym for legs. Um, my home gym, Limitless. Not a big fan of the leg equipment. Like, it's got tons, but I just feel like I don't necessarily like like it. So, I've been doing my leg days here and been training there um, for the other days. Again, look at me. Look at me trying to get out. Look at my face there. We then followed that up to finish off with the leg press. As you can see, I've got a pad there. That's just to allow for me to get in a better position. So I can have as much knee flexion as possible whilst keeping my uh, heels on the pad. More knee flexion, more quad recruitment, more quad recruitment, hopefully more quad growth. So if you like this uh, commentary, I will continue to do them anyway. If you didn't like it, then you watched it anyway. Thanks for the views. But hopefully you liked it. Like, comment, sub, uh, and then you will see me doing a little outro. But I appreciate you watching and then Path Brad is coming to check back in right now. It's good, so just wrapped that up. Um, good workout. Uh, <laughs> very elegant getting into that uh, squat press. But what we're going to do now, we're going to eat our chicken and rice. Um, cold, but that is what it is, you know what I mean? So look at that spot, man. It's not getting any better. Um, eat that quickly. Then going to the cinema, the movies, uh, in 15 minutes, the film starts, but it'll start at like 20 minutes after that. So it's half past seven right now, the film will probably start at about eight. So we're going to eat that quickly and then get to the cinema, which again, like I said, is about 10 minutes from here. Then I'll give a film review and that will be the video. Oh, that's really bright. Um, just home. Um, finish my work. As you can see, I'm really tired. Luckily, I've done all my steps. I've got one more meal. I don't even know what I'm going to have, but I'll figure it out when I go inside. Um, it's all right. Like, Marvel's kind of lost its edge. Like, I will see. I'll watch them. I'll sit through them. But, like, would I see that again? Absolutely not. But, like, it was watchable. So, <laughs> good film review. Maybe if the whole bodybuilding thing fails, I'll become a film critic. Um, but this will be up on Monday. Um, I'm going to let this, I said it on my Instagram story, follow me if you don't, it'll be linked in the bio. Um, that I'll try and get two uploads going every week, I need to get back in the swing yet, so I'm just going to take the camera. I look really red, but that's besides the point. I'm just going to take the camera everywhere and get back in the swing of just filming everything. So, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, comment if you want to comment. You know the drill. Like, comment, sub. I don't know why it was like some coffee. Bye, see you later.